Hello teachers. I hope you guys are doing quite well. Now we are still talking about colors. This is unit 3 class 3. Yeah. Here again you will be helping the student to use different colors. Now this would be the fun class. It would still be a drawing class. The main portion of this class is based on drawing but before you go to the drawing section you just teach them some of the colors you help them remember all those colors actually whatever you have taught them in the last two classes look at these pictures and you just describe it as well as they will learn the vocabulary of this things that are presented in this lecture the very first one is a crow 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 it's a black crow it's a black crow a red apple the next one a blue jeans a blue jeans blue jeans a yellow banana a yellow banana a yellow banana a orange basketball a orange basketball a orange basketball a green apple a green apple a pink nightgown a pink nightgown what is a nightgown a gown that usually people wear at the night now this is a new vocabulary so make sure you explain it to the student gown is something that we wear which is long which usually go beyond our knees that's a gown yeah and people usually wear it when they go to bed to sleep this is a gown so this is a pink gown next one a purple cup purple cup a brown basket brown basket the next one a gray elephant a gray elephant white paper towels white paper towels white paper towels a pitch dress pitch dress a pitch dress now this is a new color pitch have you ever heard this what's a pitch pitch is a kind of fruit yeah this fruit looks like this dress it's kind of creamish but it's not completely pink nor it completely in another color so this one is a peach color this is a peach dress a peach colored dress next one a off white shoe see white and off white what's the difference between of white and white white is the brightest white of white is still the white but it doesn't have the brightness just like the white are you getting me let me give you a perfect example well whenever you see something very white you see a glow comes out of this white now if you take out this glow that means it really doesn't look like that glowish white this is off white it's not pure white but it's a kind of white is it off white look at the shoes this is not pure white look at the background of this picture it's pure white yes now this background is white while the shoe is off white the next one is a navy blue table cover navy blue navy blue it's a deep blue we have seen blue right now there are some blue that are pretty much deeper this the color is not exactly blue it's more than blue it's a blackish blue 
They are known as navy blue. Navy blue. This is a new color to the student. You explain it to the student and make sure they can repeat after you. This is navy blue. Navy blue table cover. Navy blue table cover. The next one, the beige sofa. Beige, beige, beige sofa. Beige sofa. Beige sofa. Beige sofa. Have you seen this color anywhere? It's the beige color. The beige color. There are some animals that look like beige as well. The next one is the exercise. Now, in the last class, the exercise was you have been asking the student to fill a shape using a single color. Now, most of the things we see around us, they don't really have single color in them. Rather, you can see mixed color in different things. For example, if I look at my face and look at my hair, we also have different colors whenever we are trying to color something. The same thing happens with all the objects around us. Now the students need to learn to figure out the colors even if they are in a mix. That's why these activities are. Here the students will be instructed to fill the shapes using more than one color. Look at this shapes. You already have it with your lecture sheets, right? It is asking about by giving the instruction. Look at these boxes. This boxes is pointing to different colors. Like one is yellow, two is green, three is red, and so on and so. Now here in these shapes, you can see these numbers. The first one, it is talking about one. That means it is asking the students to paint the whole shape into yellow the next one here is talking about here look at this it's saying about coloring the whole thing using eight color this part using the color number eight then color this part using the color number eight as well now look at this flowers all this flowers is talking about different thing in this first picture you're saying that the middle circle should be painted with the color one which is yellow and the rest of the petals will be colored using orange color let me show you it how you should do it here you just take the yellow color pencil and do it here like fill these shapes here this is the on color Color one, it's talking about one here. See, can you see? That's why I'm using the yellow pencil here. Now you paint it like this. On the other hand, the shape is talking about painting it using color C. So you take the orange color, the color C is orange, and paint it. Show it to the students. The student should be able to follow you. Do this. This is gonna take some time for the students, so you just give them the time and they should paint it as their own pass. Don't just put pressure on them. As uh, this is a normal job and they will be having fun when they will be doing it. Yeah, so let them do it on their own. You just keep monitoring in the classroom and make sure all of them are being able to do it correctly now this is how they should paint the rest of the things here the color four they should use color four color three wherever it's three they should put the color number three when all of these colorings are done the shape should be look exactly like this one similarly the rest of the objects in this lecture you will find all of these are shapes yeah let me just show them yeah, this is a rainbow and the clouds. What you can see, and this is a flower. It's talking about different objects like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here, one is red, and then two is orange. 
all the name of the scholars are given in here in this instruction beside the number now whatever number the students find here in the shapes they should fill that area only using that color just need to make sure the students understand the instructions because this is why they might fail to understand the instruction that's why you help them doing the cross step with your own hand show them how to do it and then let them do the rest of the shapes on their own in this time you keep monitoring if they could do it correctly or not after finishing this version or these shapes it should look like this now can you see the same sorts of instructions given for this umbrella as well it would be a very colorful umbrella now once it is painted using the colors that are instructed here it should look like a beautiful umbrella like this you make sure the students are being able to come up with the final product that we are showing here the color should be exactly like this one once the students can do it correctly you can make sure the student have learned this color clearly those who cannot do it yet they have got some problem you try to find out some way to help them out those who can do it easily you can mark them as well then help those students with the one those who couldn't do it ask them to help their friends yeah start peer work in the classroom now this one it's a complicated one here you need to use only four given colors not all the colors see so far we have been talking about four to eight colors more than 10 colors sometimes now here they need to use only four colors using these four colors they need to fill these shapes and obviously the instruction should remain the same whatever area a particular number is covering they should paint that area using the instructed color only at the end of the painting this beautiful like picture should look like this this would be the very last shape of the exercise although the video is very short i hope you guys have understood what i'm asking you to do in the classroom and the student should take around more than one hour to finish all this coloring and painting obviously give them some floor give them some time also ask some of them what color is this you're painting and what else you could do now this last shape is talking about five different colors the instruction should remain the same wherever the student find out the numbers they should paint that area using the instructed color i hope you all have understood how you're going to take this class now this should be pretty much fun after completion of this shape it should look like this isn't it beautiful once you have done with all this coloring and all then you bring some of the students in front of the classroom after all these activities are done you make sure that the students have done it correctly those who fail to do it you take some extra care on them once all these activities are done you can bring some of the students and name the objects that they have been coloring today and also repeat all those vocabularies you have taught them at the end of the class again and then let them go that's the end of the lesson three